Hi, boys and girls. We are going to paint a bunny today. So this is Harris, the bunny. And we're gonna use watercolor for this project. And since it's April and springtime, I uh, was inspired by this book here called Harris Finds His Feet, which is a sweet little story. Uh, the author is Katherine Rayner, and she's written lots of um, children's books. And this is her bunny right here. So you can see he has really long ears and really big feet. All right, so I'm gonna read this to you. I have to video this in two parts because I can't flip my phone. You have to have a special camera in order to flip the lens. So I'm just gonna read this to you and then I'll uh, stop the camera and then I'll show you how we're gonna do our project today, all right? So Harris finds his feet. Harris was a very small hare with very big feet. Hair is another word for bunny. What's another word for bunny? Rabbit. Why do I have such enormous feet, Granddad? Harris sighed. All hares have big feet, young Harris, said Granddad with a whiskery smile. I'll show you why. Granddad hopped high into the sky. Harris copied. His small, clumsy, bouncy grew bigger and better and higher until he could spring, like Granddad, into the air. Notice the colors that she uses in her books here. Then Granddad took Harris up, up, up to the very tops of the mountains. With your strong feet, he said, you can hop to the top of the world. She uses lots of grays and browns or muted neutral colors. And look out where the birds fly and the wind tickles your whiskers. Granddad showed Harris all the best things like how to dig a cool resting place in the earth when the days got hot. They stretched out together through long, lazy afternoons, listening to the insects buzzing and humming around them. Look, Granddad, Harris said, my feet can shade me from the sun. Every day, Harris learned more about his world. When a wolf came near, Granddad sat still as a stone. The most important thing about your big feet, he whispered, is they help you to run very fast. So Harris ran, feeling the bounce in his feet and the stretch in his legs. He ran faster and faster, as fast as fast until He was on his own. Granddad, Harris called, hopping back. Why aren't you running with me? Because I'm growing old, little Harris. It's your turn to run. The world is yours to explore. And Harris ran, leaping over streams and bouncing through meadows on his big, strong feet that would take him 
to the end of the world and back home again. All right. So you'll notice that the artist used more muted colors. So we've done lots of bright, vibrant things with pop art and with our Mandela Owl, if you did that lesson. So today we're gonna to go to the opposite end and we're gonna use more shadowy colors, um, browns and grays and blacks and tans. So the supplies that you're gonna to need to do uh, this project is a piece of watercolor paper and a pencil and eraser. You're gonna need a Sharpie black marker and um, your watercolors. One paintbrush, this was the size that I used here, and some water and a towel to dip your brush off, okay? So I'll meet you back here in a second. 